Greetings fellow guitar travellers, it's Rowan J Parker here with yet another episode of Judge Shred. You have been found guilty of excessively whittling on your guitar and the sentence is 12 years hard practice. Excellent. On this week's Judge Shred, I thought we'd give the uh, white stretches a bit of a rest for one week and instead grab your plectrum because we're going to do some monster alternate picking. So let's get ready for it. Here it comes. Looking forward to this one. It should be rock and roll. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, well we hope you enjoyed that very much, so let's go ahead and start to show it to you. Uh, it's two parts, um, it's the alternate picking run, and then there's some arpeggios. So here's the first part, there's a run, and sounds like this one. It's really very simple, it's just a six note pattern. I'll get to that in a minute. And the second part would be the arpeggio, this bit. Alright, so we'll show you that as well. So, let's start with, unsurprisingly, part one. Okay, here we go, let's show you the first half. And before we do that, we better learn the two scale shapes that you're going to need. Um, the first scale shape is this one. Which is a very standard conventional D major shape. And then we're going to descend down the next shape up. Okay, and just to be super clear about exactly what I'm playing, here's the first shape, it is low E. 10, 12, 14, A, 10, 12, 14, D, 11, 12, 14, G, 11, 12, 14, B, 12, 14, 15, and high E, 12, 14, 15. Okay, so that's the ascending uh, scale shape. And the descending one is high E, 17, 15, 14, B, 17, 15, 14, G, 16, 14, 12, D, 16, 14, 12, and then A, 16, 14, 12, okay? So these are all very common scale shapes for D major, B minor, three note per strings. It's a three note per string sort of guy. All right, so that's the shapes. Let's uh, look at the pattern. It's just a pattern of sixes, because unsurprisingly, it contains six notes. So it sounds like this, a reduced tempo. Okay, and that's the ascending run, the ascending half, okay? So it'd be really, again, really very clear about exactly what I'm playing. First six notes is uh, low E 10, 12, 14, A, 10, 12, 14, that's the first six. And then the next six is A again, 10, 12, 14, and then D, 11, 12, 14. That's the next six, and the next six, D, 11, 12, 14, G, 11, 12, 14. Next six, and the next six, G, 11, 12, 14, B, 12, 14, 15. And then the last six is B again, B, 12, 14, 15, high E, 12, 14, 15. So I'm sure you can see, very basic idea, six notes. Sounds kind of rubbish when you play it that slow, but when you get it up to a good tempo, yeah, it sounds very impressive then. Okay, let's do the descending part now of our alternate pick run. So it's the descending sixes now, so it sounds like this. Okay, and so the notes we've got, first six note group, we've got high E 17, 15, 14, B 17, 15, 14. And then, again on the B string, 17, 15, 14, G, 16, 14, 12. Again on the G, 16, 14, 12, D, 16, 14, 12, almost there. D again, 16, 14, 12, and then A, 16, 14, 12. And then to resolve it, playing the B notes, which will be the root, okay? And that is on A14. All right, so that's the entire run. I'll glue it together one more time at a slow tempo, just to give you uh, an idea. And uh, yeah, should be able to get it. All right, so here's the descending part, slow tempo. And 
and the entire ascending and descending part stuck together at a slow tempo. Okay, and there we have it. So that's the uh, ascending and descending alternate pick run. Very simple to play, really, but uh, the challenge is to get it up to the tempo, which is fairly monster. Okay, so that's section one. Let's show you the uh, arpeggio uh, stuff in section two now. Okay, section two uh, includes a little bit of arpeggios and some sweet picking. All right, so uh, let me just go ahead and show you exactly what's going on. Uh, first part is we're going to ascend up an A major triad. Okay, let me give you the notes for that. We've got uh, A12, D11, G9, D10, high E9, then high E12. And the right hand picking for this, five downs and one ups. Down, 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 up, like that. Okay, so that's the A major arpeggio ascending. And then we're going to descend down D major 7, which is this. And then add a couple of notes at the end just to resolve the line again on to B. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you the notes now. We've got high 10, then E9, and then B10, G11, D12, D11, and then D again is D7 and then A9, and then low E10, low E9, low E7, okay? So the tricky thing with this one is the picking, because it's gonna start with a down stroke, we're gonna have down, and then up, 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 and down, and another three ups, up, 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 down, up, okay? So down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up. Right, seems a bit mad, but that's it. Uh, let me give you the picking for the entire lick all glued together. Down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up. And this sort of playing, sweet picking playing, is really very, very much influenced by Frank Gambale. So if you like it, you're interested in it, check out some of his playing because it's truly, truly phenomenal. And uh, anything that I'm doing is, well, believe me, a pale imitation of this man's incredible abilities. However, that's the end of the arpeggio thing. So let me stick it all together again one more time just to be clear about exactly what it is. So here we go. Okay, so that's it. All right, now, uh, the first half, that's in semi-quaver triplets, and the tempo that I've pegged the little backing at was 130, so that's fairly challenging for the right hand to get your alternate picking up to that tempo and be clean and accurate. And uh, for the second half, we're doing the sweet picking. What you'll find with sweet picking, actually, playing semi-quavers in the second half, it's not quite as challenging, but to control the 16th notes and avoid rushing is uh, quite tricky. Because when I hear a lot of people sweet pick, they sort of sweet pick like this. And you can't hear any articulation in the arpeggio, it's just a big blurry mess. You hear the, the bottom note and the top note and everything in between is just sort of mush. So that's the challenge with the second half, is to control the articulation and make it come out nice and evenly. Well, that uh, pretty much concludes it, so we're going to play you the lick one more time with the backing. Alright, so let's have a listen. Okay, well that wraps it up for another episode of Judge Shred. Join me next time for more devastating licks from the judge. So uh, I know that this one will be fairly challenging because of the tempo, but I'm sure if you stick at it, you'll be able to get it. Uh, before I go, I'd like to encourage you to head to my website, which is www.rowanjparker.com. There's a whole ton of uh, cool guitar stuff on that site. Uh, most of it is free, though there is a shop where you can buy things if you like. Um, if you want to get in touch with me otherwise, then I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, Rowan J. Parker, which you can like, if you like. Um, I'm on Twitter, at Rowan J. Parker. I'm also on SoundCloud, and you can find me at Rowan-Parker. 
And uh, of course, I'm on YouTube. YouTube channel is Raymond J. Parker, which you should be watching right now. Alright, well, that's it. It's been a blast doing yet another piece of nonsensical shred taking me back to my youth, but it's still very cool. So, that's it. I've been Raymond J. Parker. Thank you very much, and more from the judge next week.